welcome to Nollywood Radio France. We bring you the pics of the week from our Facebook friends. I'm your host, Cyprian Joseph. Now comes the first pick of the week, listeners. I have a big gist for you. Listeners, this one is a big story. As I was scrolling down my Facebook wall, I, I saw a picture of a boy carrying a handwritten poster which reads, Help! Can you believe my government in Nigeria lost 20 billion dollars? Hmm! 20 billion dollars! Can you imagine what 20 billion dollars can buy? Now, let's take the Nollywood industry. $20 billion can buy, mm, let me say, first of all, we can buy um, Hollywood, if you want. No, 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 that's not a good example. We can build a wonderful studio for Nollywood with everything, all the cameras in a big town as big as Lagos. So just get the picture of 20 billion dollars. 20 billion dollars. You can with 20 billion dollars you can feed the whole of Lagos State for many many years. So it's a lot of money. So I try to dig further to find out whether some people we are passive because you know we Africans when we hear this type of news we say oh it doesn't consign us it's uh, all about the missing money so that we will not get any problem but now the first reaction about the missing money was from yeah the first reaction was from our Facebook friend Linda the Black Panther, who said, ha, 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 she, first of all, she said, really? Ha, 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 ha. Maybe you want to say Nigerian government got this amount for just one day. Yes, maybe. It's oil money. Now, the second reaction uh, came from uh, Baba Lola Akins, who said, uh, PDP, I don't know what that means, but anyway, it means um, whatever should be the party in power or the people in control. Where is our 20 billion dollars? Ha! Now, another one, another reaction came from uh, still uh, on Facebook, uh, Viola Solomon. Uh, to answer uh, Viola Solomon answered Baba Lola Akins saying to them pocket or one of them uh, bank account so this is broken English anyway so the money went into someone's pocket that's what she means and then another um, an, uh, 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 another reaction came from an anonymous uh, Facebook friend, no name, just posted that there, said, it's a shame to this country that such amount of money lost and nowhere to be found within, uh, um, while uh, nowhere to be found, while millions of Nigerians are suffering. And now he, uh, the, the, our friend spelled suffering, S-U-R-F-R-I-N-G, which means uh, suffering. <laughs> anyway, uh, whatever I think uh, he or she uh, was not very happy when she was writing that. So the most important thing is suffering. But remember, any leader that stole our money, we no go... Uh, will not go on unpunished unpunished okay uh, very bad grammar anyway but anyway we can understand you you are trying to say that if any leader uh, steals money the leader must uh, be brought to justice mm. now another reaction 
came from Damian Mbata um, Shant, uh, who wrote on my Facebook wall saying they have the money uh, resting in their fat tummy. So, uh, yeah, it's true. Um, some people have fat tummies in Nigeria. Does not mean there is money inside. I think uh, that has to. Uh, that has to be. I think it's all about health issues. You know, it's different in Nigeria. If you have big stomach, you are rich. But here in France and the Western countries, you are not rich. You have to check your health. So I think that's the we're talking about culture now. I think uh, okay now, but I try to find out more. More is an article written uh, by CKN Nigeria. So today, uh, Wednesday, twenty sixth, twenty uh, sixth February, twenty fourteen. So the article was written at eight forty five a.m. That's um, Nigerian time. So what do we find in this? The headline reads, I want an independent forensic audit of alleged missing 20 billion. Okonjo Iwala. Now, now the problem here is forensic audit. You know, listeners, that's big grammar. Um, you might not understand it. So I, I, I didn't even understand that because uh, in, it has something to do with commercial English. And again, not only commercial English, it has something to do again with legal English mixed with accounts. So I went straight on the internet. You know, you get everything from the internet now and uh, I wanted to know the meaning of forensic audit now here the meaning of forensic audit says uh, forensic accounting we have forensic accounting sometimes called investigative accounting so you need um, you need to investigate the accounts involves the application of accounting concepts and techniques in legal problems that goes very very far that means that we are no auditors in both sides uh, see uh, the auditors that can that audit accounts every year there uh, no auditor existed or uh, continue to exist because the money uh, they, there were no auditors to to edit the accounts of uh, of um, to account for this money now forensic accountants investigate and document financial fraud, okay, and white collar crimes such as embezzlement. They also provide litigation support to attorneys and law enforcement agencies investigating financial wrongdoing. So, listeners, you see where we are with this money. The money is missing. And now, on the article, the article says just. I'm not going to read everything because it's a very long article, but the most important aspect, uh, part of the article, the summary, the main points, if you want, says the Minister of Finance and, and um, Coordinating Minister for the Economy, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwela, has demanded to know the whole truth about the alleged missing 20 billion, which the suspended central bank governor Malam Sanusi uh, Lanido Sanusi said is missing from the uh, Federation account. So no wonder you see our man standing with his uh, poster crying for help. Now, for some of you that didn't pick it up, it's, uh, it's, it's all about a picture of a young man. I think that should be in London or in France or in the United States. I don't know where because it was not uh, the country where he, that picture was taken was not in uh, was not indicated below the picture it says help can you believe my country in nigeria lost 20 billion so that's on the internet you can investigate more about this money so this is our first pick because um when we're talking about money and a good number of uh, nollywood actors and actresses and producers and uh, we're talking about how uh, uh, have no money to go ahead with their productions and then we're also talking about how 
we can improve the industry uh, now you hear that uh, 20 billion is missing 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 20 billion and again there's suffering like one of our uh, commentators said suffering suffering uh, which was a very bad spelling anyway it doesn't matter and uh, now there's a lot of suffering and hardship in uh, nigeria um, a good number of people have no light uh, they can't measure up for three square meals and then when you hear that 20 billion in dollars, not in the local uh, uh, money, got lost. Oh, it, it throws shiver on you. So, listeners, uh, you you can tell us what you think about uh, this uh, um, uh, missing money. And then, if ever you have a way, you have your own tricks or uh, ways to find that money, please make sure the federal government knows about it knows about the money you can even write an open letter to the president to uh, uh, to tell the president i have found the money but <laughs> uh, this is what we call the more you look the less you see now listen to our second pick you know on facebook you find all types of articles all kinds of people and this is what makes facebook a wonderful place to be so this second peak is very interesting yeah now we're going to talk about um sex yes yes we're going to talk about sex our contributor on facebook posted this article now the article quote and unquote stars yes it is midweek and the average worker is gradually preparing for weekend which commences on Friday evening. Weekends are those glorious times of the week when we take care of those things we have pushed off, including in sex. During the week, because of uh, the pleasure of work and also because of the need to wake up early and sleep late. Now that the weekend stares each of us in the face, it's also necessary to have a rough idea of what we will do in order to stay focused, healthy, and totally reefed up to meet the demands of the next week. Okay, you're listening to Nollywood Radio France. I'm your host, Cyprian Joseph. Now, the last pick of today is this quotation which states, Forgive yourself. Dwelling on past bad decisions you've made only allows those decisions to keep defining you. Forgive yourself. Move on. Thanks so much to all our contributors. You're listening to Nollywood Radio France. Keep on checking on this website, www.nollywoodradiofrance.com for all and everything on Nollywood and African entertainment. I'm your host, Cyprian Johnson. Bye and thanks for listening.